And how many of you work jobs that just pay the rent no matter how many hours you put in? I see. Yeah. My mama worked jobs like that after my dad had died. I remember her coming home from work just bone weary. You know what I mean. And I, I know she wanted to play with me and ask me about school. But sometimes you're just too tired to do anything but heat up a TV dinner and blob out in front of the tube. You got that one right. There you go. And I don't have to tell you how hard it is to be looking for work. Hey, I don't have to tell you anything about hard times. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something really outrageous. I'm going to tell the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he must really be desperate to do that. But if you had to swallow enough sh garbage. You can say shit. We're X-rated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, me too, if you believe what you read in the paper. <laughs> Okay. All right. Here's the truth. No politician can reopen this factory or bring back the shipyard jobs or make your union strong again. No politician can make it be the way it used to be because we're living in a new world now, a world without economic borders. A guy can push a button in New York and move a billion dollars to Tokyo in the blink of an eye. And in that world, muscle jobs go where muscle labor is cheap, and that is not here. So if you want to compete, you're going to have to exercise a different set of muscles, the one between your ears.